Morning, morning. Good to be back out in the water. This is us just in uh, Burnt Island Bay now. We're gonna head round to Kirkcaldy and test our ROV that has now got underwater GPS installed in it. Let's go. Okay, so it's taken us like 15 minutes to get where we are now. We're just off Kirkcaldy, you can see there. So there's the big, uh, there's Seafield there, and you've got Morrison's and Wraith Rovers over there. Side scan showing us 8.8 meters, which is fine. We're just gonna drop the anchor in here, and then we'll start to get the ROV ready for testing. You can see how quick the weather changes when you're out in the fourth. When we started, it was pretty much flat calm. It's not crazy rough, but it's gonna get rougher. I think the winds are forecast to go up to like 15, 20 knots, so hopefully we're done by then. Anchor away. So this is the Blue RV2 setup, and this is what we recently installed. It's an underwater GPS. So I can hear you asking already, why would you need an underwater GPS? Basically what it allows you to do, you can set a waypoint on the fish finder. So say where like there's an object of interest or a wreck, and instead of just kind of mooring over the top of it, you can turn the ROV on obviously, and direct the ROV accurately to the objects. It saves you time and it's accurate as well. Installing the Waterlink GPS was relatively simple. So you've got this locator beacon and a cable running to it. I think this is it here, the black one. So these here are called penetrators. You have to fit this penetrator yourself onto the cable. So before we even launch that, I'm going to do another vacuum test just to make sure she's good. And I was going to install an underwater gripper as well. Issue is, this is a blue ROV too with a heavy configuration. So these props are actually extra and we've actually ran out of penetrators which is quite annoying but that's the way it is that's one of your batteries we've got loads of them so like so connect those i'm sure they are you hear that rov's got power which is good and now the moment we've all been waiting for so with the water link underwater gps it doesn't come with a pillow case but if you want one 1610 case is the right size and fits everything so yeah check that out it's pretty cool huh? so first of all we've got a little box here this is the top side part of it so you can open that up i've installed an internal battery so it doesn't require um, external power source and obviously there gives you a little quick start guide and example setups next you've just got some cables we're going to attach and you've got the aerials which we'll deploy now So this cable running from the underwater GPS just goes into the side of the box. You can see it there, it says antenna. I'm just going to mount that in, which is good, sorted. So, face it forward, along with the boat. And then lastly, we've got just another cable that connects into the water link box. Okay, so last but not least, I'm just going to connect this up here. And I believe it's just this button here. Yes. Cool sitting over there, that's the aerial in, deployed. And then this is our setup in here, but I'll come back to that when I get it set up. So, that's us pretty good. We've got connection with uh, water linked, which is good. System status, you can see there, is red. So we're going to click on it. Compass, set a heading, we can do that. Okay, that's the ROV in the water, and we're going to head down the shot line. The water is quite clear today, it's not too bad. And we'll get down to the bottom of the shot and figure out what we do with the GPS. So you can see the anchor there, it's nice and secure underneath a rock, which is good. So finally we're cooking with gas. Had to do a couple of settings there. This is really where you want to be if you're setting it up. Now, when I first came in here, I clicked on position map area. It was shown on land and what had happened was my top side setup was set to static. So so that I was on land and in my last position. So I've just set it to on board, on, and then went to on board IMU calibration and then uh, recalibrated it. And now we're working. So you can see, check that out. You can see exactly where we are. And that's where we are. That's where the ROV is in the relation to us. Cool. That's amazing, really. We'll go back onto the ROV setup. It's just bobbing around underwater and we'll start moving the ROV and see if we get a difference in position. So we're just going to test a little theory here. 
Now you can see my position to the boat and just to make sure it's accurate I'm just going to come back up the surface with ROV and I think it is. It actually gives you a heading as well which is amazing. So we should be coming up just ahead of the port bow. <laughs> so it's accurate. I'm buzzing man. Can you believe that? Wow it's worked. That's really good. The great thing about this as well is if you're underwater you can create a position of interest so say you're underwater and you find a cannon um, you can literally go to the cannon with ROV and mark a waypoint accurately so it's not like fish finder and you drop something overboard and you have to press man overboard this is accurate so that is really impressive I'm really happy with that as well you can see the ROV just bobbing across there good so I'm just gonna have a little play about have a play about the settings and see what we can do but yeah happy days so another amazing thing about this is that you've got heading so if i'm r running the wrong way look you can just see the rov it's now heading the right way it's got a little point in it so usually what we used to do i'll show you as you go into q ground control and you'd have your compass bearing here and you'd have to say right the land's north there at 339 degrees or whatever and you'd have to work off that but that's great so what i'm going to do now is see if i can return back to the anchor quite windy today I mean it was really nice on land but still warm it's like 18 degrees today apparently not on this ball today well that was pretty much a success obviously the weather I think caught me out at the end there the wind just increased from nowhere um, so I think we'll just head back and get out of it hopefully you enjoyed the video it was a bit of a strange one um, obviously it's the first time I've used that underwater GPS so I just wanted to really concentrate on that but I think uh, I think it was good. Success! Woo! Check this wind. It doesn't look like much here, but you'll see when we get around that point, it's going to be blowing. Better get my waterproofs on. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll uh, see you next time. Cheers.